Yeah, they look better in person than they do in the... <laughs> Is there a space in the back? Oh, that's good. That's actually really good. You look so big at the You know what? While we still have light, I guess we could start with the outside of the car. Yeah. If you, by all means, if you want to. No, 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 no. Okay. All you. All right. So, uh, you have the key? Key yep. does. And there's two keys. I have the other key inside. Mm -hmm. All right. So, um, the vehicle is equipped with the test. The Tessie is the keyless entry system. Yep. So, like, if you're, the car is locked um, and your key's in your pocket, as you if you want to just walk up to the handle, just put your hand right into the handle and don't pull on it, and you'll hear, the, you'll hear it unlock. There we go. So it'll unlock. Oh, okay. And then there's a little dimple here. Okay. If you swipe on that, that's how you lock it. So that, now again, you could be old, I mean, it's so funny that this is the old school method, but you know, you could always lock and unlock from here. Okay. Um, and actually from the convenience settings in the, in the inside of the car, you can control whether or not you want it to unlock all the, all the doors or, or just, just the driver door. Okay. Um, so that's pretty cool. So this, there's a little notch under here. Mm -hmm. So you can pop this thing off. And then as you pop this off, that's when your actual physical keyhole will be. Cool. Um, so you already know that the gas cap is on the passenger side of the car. It's controlled by the locks. Okay. So when the car is locked, yeah. you will not you be able to open it. Like like yep. cool. And then when you unlock the car, this will unlock. Okay. The latch is, is towards the back of it. So if you try to like close it from here, mm -hmm. it won't work. So make sure you latch it right from there. Okay. Um, other thing to note, is like if you get out of your car, I mean you're from New York, you pump your own gas, in Jersey yeah. we don't, so like we would get out of the car mm -hmm. and like walk away and lock the car, then this wouldn't be able to shut uh, okay. because it's because it's locked. Okay. Um, we're going to go over how your wipers work and all that. Uh, see this is the Japanese part. Yeah, yeah. So okay. that's the piece of cladding there. You see how wide those holes are? Yeah, that's way too wide. So they're like an inch too wide in each direction um, for the U.S. plate. So kind of, kind of funky. We'll figure it out. Um, this is your front plate bracket. You know, we don't okay. put them on just... Okay. So there's your woofer. Mm -hmm. You have some extra storage in here. Mm -hmm. And then in here, this is the compressor kit. So it has like a fix of flat material and the tire pressure or tire pump. Mm -hmm. Okay. Open this. This is your manual. Does the trunk open with the key? Like automatically? Yeah. No. I mean, it'll <laughs> unlock. <laughs> that's what the... There's little pull handles here. <laughs> it'll, yeah, that's what that one But does. if the car is locked... And you were to press and hold this, you'll get a little, a little pop. pop, and it'll unlock. And then you still have to tuck in here. Yeah, and your rear view, your rear view camera view. is in yeah. here as well. Yeah. Okay. So it's really hard to see. But it's in there. So you got these little handles here to pull down. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. So who wants to jump in the driver's yeah. seat? You go. You go. You only have to do it. It's a driving test. <laughs> Step one. If you want to get the passenger sure. seat. Yeah. Do you want to sit in the front? No, I mean, no, you just sit up front so, okay. you can, so you can see everything. It'll cold out. Okay, so push button start. So you have to put your foot on the brake and then you press and hold the button. That'll start the car. You'll see the gauges will sweep and then it'll go to the normal warm up. If it's under 39 degrees, you're going to get that little Risk caution. Of black Just ice. like the Tiguan probably mm -hmm. does a similar yeah. thing. Yeah. All right, so what we're going to do is we'll start with the left hand side and kind of work our way around. Okay. You're, you're going to see a lot of familiar stuff from yeah. the Tiguan. So it's pretty much the same functionality. Um, you have your door locks and windows on, your, on the door itself. All four are one touch up and down. Yeah. All four windows also have the finish control. Put your hands in the way. It'll <laughs> I always yeah. test it out and then I ask people to test it and they, get, they say, no way, but if your hand's there, you know, it'll, it'll roll itself back that's down. That's nice. <laughs> Go ahead, try it, try it. Do it. <laughs> Watch, try what? Put, open the window. Okay, put now your put your hand, hand out there. Now it just rolls up all the way. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Got scared. Everyone's always Got scared. scared. Try. Yeah. Okay, trust cool. the Germans, trust the Germans. Yeah, but then one time it doesn't work. <laughs> You're like, ah! My knuckles. <laughs> so all four have that pinch control and all four are one touch up and down. Okay. That's <laughs> so funny. Um, you're going to see the little joystick on the on the door panel for your side view mirrors. Yeah. Probably just like the Tiguan. Mm -hmm. um, you have the little zero position for the neutral position. That way yeah. if you bump into it, it won't move them. 
If you were to rotate oh, yeah. that down to the six o'clock position, that's for the heated mirrors. Oh. And the heated mirrors Your are like- Your car has that too, but I never knew how to use it. I clicked I it. Do? I tried to click it. It wasn't Yeah, clicking. you just point you it. Turn you it turn it all the way. I didn't even know it. Wow. <laughs> See, okay. now you gotta throw some ice on your mirrors and <laughs> test it out. Oh, a quick question. Does Do the mirrors fold? They, uh, electronic? Man, not electronically. Manual, okay. In Manual Europe, fold. they fold oh, electronically. Okay. I know. Yeah. Um, but they do fold, and they fold up at an angle similar to the Okay, Audis. the wings. Okay, yes. gotcha. Um, Headlights are a little bit different than the GTI. Um, the off position's in the 12 o'clock position. Mm -hmm. You click it over one position to one to, for the auto setting. You can leave it there and never have to worry about it again. Mm -hmm. um, and then if you were to go to two o'clock, that would be just like your manual headlights on. on. And then if you go one more, that would activate the fogs. Oh. There's no fogs on this, is there? Well, it's like the, there's a, an integrated light. Oh, okay, okay, cool. Okay. But if you keep it on auto, you would never have to touch it again. Yeah, that's good. Um, all right, so the steering wheel's got the two stalks that come off the steering wheel. Same exact controls as the Tiguan. Okay. So your left one is for your wiper, uh, for your, your turn signals. It's mm -hmm. gonna have the one touch lane change thing. So if you were to just give it a tap up or down, you would get three blinks, you, you know, without it actually clicking into position. So if you're yeah. on the highway, you can just do that. Uh, the right side stalk is for your wipers. Mm -hmm. Same exact functionality as the Tiguan. Mm -hmm. uh, one touch to activate it to a single wipe going down, and then you have the intermittent setting with the toggle. Yeah. You yeah. can dial in the speed of the intermittent, and then you have your two speeds going up. Yep. Um, this has a rear wiper, so um, you know, press and pull yep. it towards you. You don't want hold to turn it. them on, but yeah, you hold it towards you, you to spray to the front, press and hold it to the, uh, away from you to spray in the back. Uh -huh. Um, the steering wheel is really one of the main differences coming from the previous generation of Volkswagens to mm -hmm. this generation. Yeah. Um, so your cruise control is now moved to the steering wheel. So mm. instead of it being on the stock for the uh, right for the uh, turn signals, exactly. So you have the little on off button, which is going to be just above that. Mm -hmm. You have your set and resume to the left. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. the two buttons on the bottom there uh, are the volume controls up mm -hmm. and down. Yeah. Um, if you want to turn the radio on, just so we could have it on. All right, so now look, you can turn the volume down a little bit. Mm -hmm. There you go, see it works. Now if you're in a phone call, yeah. um, that will control the phone volume as well. Yeah, so yeah, what, yeah. whichever, whatever's active, it'll control the volume of that. Okay. Um, the MFI computer with the, the gauges between, or the screen between the two gauges, mm -hmm. pretty much gonna mirror a lot of the data that you can get on the main screen. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, so when you have your nav active, you can get the information there. When your phone is on, you can get some phone information there as well. Mm -hmm. um, the right side controls on mm -hmm. the, yep, on that side. So you have the, the silver part is gonna be what you can use to toggle between the different windows. So, you, so you see you can toggle ah. through all those different windows. Mm -hmm. You press okay to get into one of those windows. And then you would use the up and down arrow to go through the menus of that specific cool. So these are like the satellite radio stations. Mm -hmm. and the the left right. Oh yeah. Driving data. Driving data is going to tell you things like how much range you have in fuel, uh, how long the car has been started, you know, things like that. Uh, oh, consumption good. rates. Yeah, we like it on consumption. <laughs> the arrows that are on the bottom at the right, yeah. those are going to be to toggle your radio stations or oh, skip okay. a track forward or back. Yeah. Um, ultimately, I'll show you there's two SD memory card inputs, so you can mm -hmm. load them up with music and you can use that to toggle through the tracks just like a CD player. Hmm. Um, Alright, so now the main the main screen in the center. Mm -hmm. uh, there's a little black bar under the screen, it looks like a Wii sensor bar. It's almost exactly what it is, so oh, when you put your hand up to it, It'll detect that your hand is there, and it'll 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 change what's on the screen. So mm, when you okay. put your hand away, you'll see some of the button oh, functionality will disappear. Oh, so there we put go. Your hand up, it'll it'll become active. Awesome. Um, so that's pretty neat. Pretty much everything that you control from the soft buttons on the screen, you can do from with the hard button as well. Okay. okay. Um, but we'll start with the top left with the band. That's just going to be your toggle between AM, FM, and satellite. Um, I haven't set any of the radio stations. I don't know the radio stations yeah, in your area. <laughs> but um, if you had a station that you wanted, it's just like the Tiguan, you, hold you just it. press and hold it, you'll get a chime, it'll lock it into that cool. uh, slot. Okay. Um, and you could overwrite those at any time too, mm -hmm. nothing will ever lock. Um, the media button is gonna be where you're gonna access CD. I don't know what um, what head unit do you have in the Tiguan? Is it the touchscreen? Mm -hmm. Yeah. The navigation or no navigation? No. no okay, no. so you have the premium eight. That's what it's called, the premium yeah, eight I one. Guess. So, same functionality as the premium eight. If you want to open the glove box, top of the glove box in there is where you're gonna have oh. your CD player. Oh. Yeah, I see it. So the CD player is there, and there's also two SD, SD card slots. slots. The left 
most SD card slot, there's a, there's a card in there that, that houses your, na your nav data. Oh, okay. Oh. So that's going to stay there, and ultimately down the road, if VW releases an update, you can get a new okay. card for there. Okay. Um, but from the media button is where you can you know access your CDs, access your SD card. Um, and if you had a Bluetooth phone attached, if you want to stream music from the phone, yeah. you would access it through there. Is this just storage for extra SDs? Extra SDs or coins and okay. stuff like that. Okay. Um, you want to kill the power in the car, so just press the button once. Uh, you guys want to get your phones out and we can pair them. You would have multiple phones paired too. I know, yeah. Well, let's just pair hers. I'll do it later. So when you start the car, it's going to automatically put itself in discovery mode for the first three minutes that the car is running. That's why I had you kill the power. Okay. Is this still in the thick one? You charging it? Okay. Right. You guys both have Androids? Yep. Yeah. Alright, so the functionality is going to be exactly right, the same. So you can go ahead and start the car now. So push your foot on the brake. Just hold. There it is. Your foot's a good one. It's pairing. Hold on. So now it'll give you a message here. Do you want to uh, connect Nexus 5? Connect. It'll give you a password. Yeah. Yes. Successful. And that's it. <laughs> so that's really okay. all it is. <laughs> um, but now from the media menu, you'll have the Bluetooth audio uh, available as an option to stream. So there you go. So it's streaming audio. Nice. On the phone. That's simple. Yeah. Super simple easy. Um, I know a lot of people, uh, and the car has an app, but a lot of people really like Google Maps. Mm -hmm. So if you were to use Google Maps on your phone, you can stream the audio from Google Maps Yay. through the car audio. Mm -hmm. So that way you can at least get the turn by turn uh, through the speakers. Okay. Um, all right. So that's the uh, media button. Cool. Phone button. Now that your phone is paired, hit phone. So this is going to be a, a dedicated phone screen. Wow. Okay. Um, cool. So you have four pre-pre uh, nice. loaded uh, speed that's dial. That's so much better. <laughs> so you can um, choose from your menu. You can add things in manually, um, but you can make any of them oh, preset. <laughs> Yay! Yep. So now she's locked in there. I'm gonna take um, you out later. No. <laughs> <laughs> so on the very bottom, you'll see a couple soft buttons there. The one mm -hmm. on the leftmost side Calling. is gonna be a dial pad. Oh, so that's cool. I just it, uh, yeah, that's so thing again. Yeah. So the dial pad is perfect if you call like an 800 number and you have to go through prompts. Mm -hmm. You can actually bring up the numbers and, and touch through, so you actually don't have to use your device. Mm -hmm. um, the left, the next button from the left is gonna be um, contact. your contact, so you'll be able to see your full phone book. Uh, the middle button is for your call history, so you'll be able to see incoming, outgoing, all that stuff. Um, and then the right side setup is just if you want to tweak a couple of different settings. Okay. I encourage you to play with that, definitely. Okay. Um, the phone and the nav are both voice activated. Okay. So on the steering wheel, there's right on the right hand side, there's this a little. Thing? Yep. If you were to press that, similar to. Good, if you want to try it. Does that have that girl's annoying sound? Yes. It's the same. <laughs> it's the same one. Yeah. So, but now you have a little microphone icon that'll awesome. come up. Oh, so yeah. it'll tell you the possible commands because okay. this is the initial time we're playing with it. Mm -hmm. But if you were to hit that little red button where the microphone is, yeah. it'll disable it. Oh. Um, but, you know, based on how the contact is saved in the phone, so if Leon Young is saved like that on the phone, you can just on okay. mobile and you'll recognize it. Mm -hmm. okay. um, and the same thing with entering a new destination. You can say, you know, when you're in your nav screen, you can use the voice activation and it'll say, uh, say a destination. You can read the full address just as if you were reading it okay. off a piece of paper. Okay. Um, and it's really smart. It actually works. So it's pretty <laughs> <Nice>. cool. <laughs> cool. Um, and if you hit the little voice button uh, just below phone on the left hand side next to the screen, again, it's just telling you um, all the different things that you could do. Whenever the, 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 the thing talks back to you, mm -hmm. you can say the word help if you don't know what the possible commands are, and mm -hmm. it will kind of run through this whole list for you. Okay. Um, but these are the kind of things that you can see um, that you can do from the phone as far as calling phones. If you want to call your voicemail, you can say call mailbox, view your missed calls, view, you know, things like that. Um, so you can hit that red microphone button again. All right, so now on the top right, you have the nav button. It's going to always default to the map. Um, right now, this map is in the 2D format. Uh, if you were to hit the view button, you can either toggle between a 2D um, or a 3D, which puts it at a slight angle. I kind of dig the 3D one. Do you use yours when you the nav a lot? I feel like we always just use our phones. Yeah, yeah, I, use, right. I, yeah. I do. I don't know why. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah. so bizarre. You know, it's just a car is well, a car company's like maps will never compare. <laughs> you know, the one thing I do like about BMW's nav setup is it's very very fast refresh time. Mm, so like if you're driving other, down the yeah. street and you make a right, mm. you'll see the screen rotate with you as yeah. you're turning. So it's a very very it's accurate okay. refresh rate. That's really cool. Mm -hmm. um, and the one thing this is good for is on the fly like points of interest. 
So if you need a restaurant or a mm -hmm. gas station or anything like that, you can do the searching from the nav screen. This is cool too. Yeah. Yeah, but then you have the real time traffic. Mm -hmm. All right. All right. So from here, the bottom, you see those buttons, new destinations, mm -hmm. my destinations, POI's point of interest. Mm -hmm. So if you want to search on a restaurant or something. Um, if you want to go to um, my destinations real quick, or actually hit the new destination, and you can put in your home address. Okay, cool. Go. <laughs> so now you can, yeah, you can scroll like a phone, so you can use that. You can also use the hard key buttons to kind of uh, move around. These? Oh, okay. Yeah. So again, they just have a lot of redundant controls to give it, give you the way, however you want to control it. They allow you to. Okay. We'll leave this for later. It's not a big deal. All right, let's just go back. You want to set your home address now? We'll do, we'll do later. Super yeah. easy. Yeah. Um, okay, then you have the car button. So you can hit the car button. That's going to show All you just general vehicle data. How long has the car been running? Yeah. You know, things like that. <laughs> um, you know, you can also get a couple other views from here, and you can toggle with those arrows. Exactly. You can see, you know, um, your one driving period. You can have an extended driving period. Um, you'll see the little circle with the, the zero with the line through it. That's mm -hmm. going to give you your average. average. Mm -hmm. um, and you can toggle between drivers as well, which is pretty neat. Oh, okay. Um, and then finally, you have menu, which is going to mirror the same windows as the center. Okay. Mm -hmm. And again, all touchscreen controlled or, or controlled through the knobs. Okay. It's That's pretty good. straightforward. Yeah. All right, climatronic, the climate control. So you have heated seats. Probably mm -hmm. should have told you that when we got in. <laughs> um, so if you Your see the word side, off, yep. my side. You have it similar to the Tiguan, right? Yeah. Yep. So and then you have uh, where the Tiguan has a knob that, that you can rotate to where you want the air to go. This mm -hmm. now has push buttons. Mm -hmm. So you can have them actually blowing in every direction if you wanted to. You can oh, so they're, they're all individually controlled? Oh, okay. Yeah. So where before, awesome. if you wanted feet, you couldn't do uh, you couldn't, you, pick... you couldn't do defrost, feet, and head at the same time. Right. You kind of had to pick and choose. Um, like I said before, when, you, when it's synced, you turn the left side knob, the, the, the temperature knob, it'll control both sides. So if you want to turn that left knob, you'll see how it's synced up together. No, I don't like you. Exactly. So <laughs> now, how they're separated, but as soon as you hit that sync button again, whatever the driver's side, it'll go back to yeah. sync. Perfect, okay. Um, VW finds it very important to share with you how to quickly heat up and cool your car, which is interesting, but you know, they recommend, you know, don't be afraid to crank the fan up, you know, pretty high. It mm -hmm. will, it's got some serious power, the fan. So, um, you know, they recommend putting it at the head level, turning the heat on all the way and putting the fan up to probably, you know, the, the fifth or sixth mm -hmm. little light. It's, uh, it's got some power. Um, the max AC button is very easy to, to oh, just, okay. you know, you hit, hit one button and all, you know, all hands on deck, you know, give you some cool air. Cool. Um, and then if you want to just shut down the entire unit, it has the off button. So pretty straightforward. All right. Yeah. All right. The shifter. So now the shifter, you have your start stop button that we played with. Mm -hmm. You have your driving selector mode that we saw when we were doing a little test drive. Um, okay. So if you want to hit that. Yep. That brings it over. So this is where you're going to be able to toggle between your different driving modes. If you were to just hit any of those buttons, it automatically puts it into the exactly. <laughs> hit information. Sure. So now it'll show you where, what modes all that stuff is. There is, in. you can control each one individually? Yes. Okay. So if you were to go back one screen and hit individual, okay. then you can dial in its settings and dial in each of those awesome. individuals. So if you want, you know, a tight chassis, but a mellow mm -hmm. motor output, right. you can do that. Okay, cool. So that's pretty neat. Um, this Below the, the mode button, button. Is, yeah, that's your trash control. Turn that <laughs> off immediately and light them up. No, no, that, that, you're really going to keep that on at all times. If you ever want a really organic <laughs> yeah, driving do. experience, um, you know, if you're on the track or something like that and you really want the car to be able to move around mm -hmm. with the G-Force rather than the computer, um, you can disable that. It's finally fully defeatable, too. It's finally fully defeatable. Right. Um, you know, you have to put your foot on the brake pedal and press that button in, and then you would get a report. On your uh, on the screen there, telling you that the uh, that it's been disabled. Uh, <laughs> below that, you're gonna have an electronic parking brake. So right yeah. now the parking brake is active. Um, you'll see the light on. You also get the little red light on the dash saying park. Yep. Um, if you were to put your foot on the brake and press down on that big parking button, you'll feel the pressure in the pedal go yeah. away, and it'll release it. Same the thing. indicator light goes off, um, and then you pull it up. Exactly. Now. Um, this will function exactly like the older style lever. 
So if you're driving on the highway or you're driving and you, you're in a panic situation and your brakes are failing at the pedal level mm -hmm. where you would normally rip that e-brake handle up, mm -hmm. you can pull up, pull and hold up on that with one finger and okay. it'll function exactly the same way like the lever would. So you're gotcha. not losing any of that. Yeah, the know, electronics. Like, you, yeah. Exactly, mm -hmm. exactly. Uh, below that is auto hold. This is mm -hmm. a German feature that came over on some of the higher end VWs, the Turegs, the CCs had it. Um, and it's really, really, really cool feature. Take one has it too. Your Tiguan one has it. Yeah, it has it. Awesome. Never it's, you, she that. never uses it. But it I really do. I recommend not even using for being it for on, this on, on hills, but if you're in traffic, it's it's really helpful because yeah. you can, um, when the car is at a stop, you can release your foot off the brake pedal and it'll hold you there, um, mm -hmm. rather than have to worry about constantly rolling through stop and go traffic. Mm -hmm. um, Armrest doesn't open. <laughs> yeah, it does we'll have to take care of that. Yahoo, it slides. <laughs> Um, she was like, what? Yeah. <laughs> Where am I going to put stuff? <laughs> and, you know, what's yeah. bizarre is the cavity is there. Yeah. yeah. It is. So yeah. it's... Um, we can take it. <laughs> really, we were we were harassing VW pretty heavily about it. Mm -hmm. um, and what they said is that they would have had to change some of the logistics of customs hmm. to have oh. this come over with yeah, this Yeah, I, I read some stuff. Okay. Totally read bizarre, some stuff. Yeah. you know. I'll, I'll believe them because the uh, they signed my check. <laughs> <laughs> Very interesting how, how that worked out. Yeah. Okay, so the glove box you saw, you can yep. lock the glove box with the key. Your, gotcha. media, your media devices are in there. Uh, it says Fender Audio. The audio system is absolutely awesome in this car. Really, really sounds great. Um, I definitely recommend playing with the dynamics of the, of the audio system. Um, both sun visors, just like the Tiguan, are going to have an illuminated mirror. Um, so that'll turn on as you open it. If you forget to close the mirror and you close your sun visor, the light will go off. Oh, so, and even if you pin it towards the glass, like if you push it forward, oh, it'll, it'll... No, like like oh. if you keep keep it attached uh -huh. and push it forward towards the glass. Oh, oh okay. Cool. So, so it's just that. So it'll, it'll, it'll never, you'll never have to worry about it staying on Perfect. if you have, yeah. you know, while you're driving. Uh, let's see. All four seats have the, oh my gosh, this mm. car is 300 horsepower uh. handles. <laughs> um, Headrest may function a little bit differently than the T1. T1 probably has a little button here. Oh, this has a button one. on the side. No, no, okay. T1 has it. Here. You have it there too? Yeah. Okay. Cool. Okay. Um, rear passengers have vents here as well. Mm -hmm. um, I recommend keeping them closed. Uh, yeah. Just to give more forced air in the front if you don't yeah. have any rear passengers. Mm -hmm. um, the seats back here have a lever here to pull down. Okay. Yeah. So that'll fold down flat. There's also a pass through. This will double as an armrest, cup holders. Yep. Okay. And then this panel here opens up. Will open and allow access to the trunk. Uh, see, any questions on the interior? Uh, yeah, lighting. Oh yeah. So you have um, rear. all four light controls can be con all, all the the four lights can be controlled from the front. Okay. Uh, you just press it. These are for the map lights. What about? Foot lighting. So foot well lighting you can control from the touch screen. So from that's going to be screen, from okay. the uh, mode selection Do screen. Do they turn on when the doors open? Okay. That's what I was just wondering. Yeah, they are. Okay. <coughs> I um, love the accent lighting. So these three buttons here, and I'm going to have you do this in a little bit, and I can mm -hmm. leave you to do it. Mm -hmm. um, okay. This is Carnet. So Carnet is absolutely awesome. Uh, you get a, uh, a trial from VW for free okay. uh, for three months. I definitely recommend signing up for it. Uh, there's a corresponding app that you can download um, that you can get vehicle health reports, um, so it'll automatically scan if you get a check engine light, your tire mm. pressure is low, you'll get notifications on the phone. Okay. Um, you can see start-stop data, you can see nav-based data. Um, you get a lot of a lot of really cool things that um, you can access from the phone, so it's just, if you want to just geek out about the car, <laughs> it's, it's very cool. cool. So I definitely recommend signing it up. Um, when we're done here, I'll, I'll leave you guys in the car. You hit the I button, mm -hmm. and someone right away will say, "Hi, you know, I'm your concierge <laughs> for Carnet. You know, let's get signed up." And you would go through the process. Yeah. They, I think they take a credit card for uh, after the fact if you want to sign up with okay. them. Mm -hmm. um, I yeah. think it's like fifteen or sixteen bucks if you want to sign on with it after. Okay. Uh, but I definitely recommend at least for while it's free, yeah, messing sure. around with it because the app is pretty sweet. It's a monthly payment. Uh, it's a monthly payment. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You might. I mean, it's through Verizon. So yeah, you, know, you may actually get um, a discount if you pay bigger oh, okay. pay up front. I'm not okay. sure. Okay. Um, same thing with the Sirius Satellite Radio. You, know, you get a free trial um, as it looks but No, you're good. As the trial comes to an end, um, you'll probably get an email from Sirius. How long do we have that for? Three months. Three months, okay. Mm -hmm. And when that goes away, when you turn on your radio, if you were to try to access it, it'll say your subscription is expired. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, and it'll give you a... Uh, 
like a little code. It'll say this is your head unit code and an 800 number to call. Okay. Let's see, what else? That's pretty much it from the... Uh, What's here? Is that a, is this a cubby for? Is there a? Yes, a MBI cable. So is the only cigarette plug here? Yes. And okay. There's one in the trunk. Well. There's one in the trunk, and the MDI cable is. Is there a cable for like a regular USB? Yes. There's the female micro USB, USB, so you okay. can plug anything into it. Okay. They make a micro USB. Perfect. They make the iPhone five uh, Lightning cable. Okay. Uh, and then they also have just the standard like aux, you know, okay. uh, headphone cable. Okay. Micro cable. Um, and we can get all those to the parts department. Cool. Um, okay, you can also adjust, just like the Tiguan, you can adjust your the height of the yeah. okay. uh, the seat belts, and uh, that's pretty much it for the, uh, the, the back stand lighting. You see the motor? Yeah. Pop. Huh? Yeah, just uh, we'll leave it on. We want to keep on it. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. So the latch to open the hood is right above the emblem. You don't need to prop the stick up anymore. Yeah, oh, the hydraulic. <laughs> um, not that you. Ooh, ooh, it's over. Ooh. <laughs> There we go. There we go. Now. Um, done. Really easy access to the ECU, so I don't know if you ever want to tune it. Yeah. But um, easy access to the ECU, fuse panel, air box, your battery, coolant and washer tanks are really accessible. Um, you know, you have a VW, so you're familiar with the tick, 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 tick injector sound, so mm -hmm. I, I usually warn people of that. Um, these are your park distance controls. Okay. So yeah. you get these are your uh, your sonar. Yeah, she's happy about that. Yeah. <laughs> You know what? And we didn't play with that. When we go back in, um, back in the car, I'll uh, I'll show you the rear view camera and how the sonar works. Okay. It's very very cool. It's not just like your typical. Is it a beep? Is it like you're beeping? It gets beeping, okay. but you also have a, vis a visual as well, okay. and you can turn the beeping off if you don't want it. Yeah. So we'll see. <laughs> um, all right, and you can see from here the auto dimming rear view mirror. There's a little sensor on the outside of the rear view mirror, yep, just like the Z4. Yep. Uh, so there's a toggle underneath that you can turn that on and off. I don't know why you would ever want to turn it off, but <laughs> if you did, you could. And then you see the mold in here is fold up. Perfect. Okay. Alright, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna jump back in. I'm gonna show you the, the park distance control in the rear view camera, then I'll leave you to do the car net. Okay. And I'll get all your paperwork first. kind of split screen here. Yeah. So as your hand is closer to it, when the sensor picks up on it, you'll get that split screen. If you move away, you'll get a more of a, a full version of the camera. <laughs> okay. And then you have that diagram of the car. Mm -hmm. So trajectory I'm, too? You guys are gonna stay here. Okay. I'm gonna go and block off your sensor. <laughs> wait, auto hold so I can get off. So you can let off the oh wait, oh, don't do it now. I don't wanna do it now. Yeah. Okay, yeah you can see how far. You see how <laughs> oh, okay. Awesome. Yeah, yeah you can see. Work. It's yeah. really accurate. That's really uh, sensitive. It's too. pretty cool. Yeah. Is there active cruise control in this? Um, the with the front facing. Yeah, I don't know. No. Oh no. Okay. No. Okay. okay. So when you're in this view, if you want to get that like car out of the way completely, if you mm -hmm. put your hand up to it, you can just hit that little arrow there, and it will move it out of the way. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um, now when. That red line is going to symbolize your rear bumper. Okay. So the red line means your bumper. So if you cross that red line, you're going to tap something. Okay. So keep that as your do not cross line. Okay. Um, now, when you were to, if you were to put this car uh, back into drive, the car, you're going to, it'll stay active for like 10 seconds. Oh, it still has the park pilot for 10 seconds because it thinks you're parallel parking. Or exactly. Gotcha. So that'll stay open for a little while, and then you'll hear. There you go. Did you hear the motor close in the back? Yeah. So it'll it'll give you a little time before it closes, and for that very reason, in case you have to go back from and forth. back okay. and forth from drive to park. Mm -hmm. um, and then on the right side of the shifter is the park button, so you can disable that another you know, park pilot there. So if you, oh, okay. just, you, know, you don't you want don't anything, you don't want to even bother with that. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. You can turn it off. Okay. That's uh, that's pretty much it, guys. Okay.
That's awesome. Thanks so much, Ken. Yeah, yeah. So there's a, a really awesome website, knowingyourvw.com. Okay. Um, I recommend going there. You put in the car. It gives tutorials and videos on every piece of equipment in the car. Mm -hmm. um, use me as your best resource, too, if you guys ever have any questions. Mm -hmm. um, so what I'm going to do now is I'll leave you to do Carnet. Okay. Um, it probably will take five minutes or so. Okay. Um, and I'll go inside. I'll prep all the paperwork, and uh, you all right, guys will we'll be, be uh, rocking and rolling okay. shortly. Okay. All right. All right. So you just hit that little I button, and the concierge will come on and walk you right. through the whole process. <laughs> okay. Cool. And that's it. Right. Thanks. <laughs> awesome, guys. All right. Hold on. No, there's one here for that USB. Oh, so we can, so we can just plug the USB but instead of you don't need the you don't need the entire plug anymore. Do the car now. All right, there. you go. You ready? It's up here. You ready? Why are you putting on? The are you ready? Services are currently not activated. Please call eight seven seven eight two zero. Do you want to set it up? I don't. For more information or to activate your service. Do you want to set it up or no? I said I don't care. I don't. Let's forget it. All right.